In this video, I want to show you how you can customize the templates that come with WooCommerce and save those customizations in a child theme directory. Whenever you customize a template, we save them in a child theme. So the next time WooCommerce is updated, those customizations are not overwritten. So let's quickly talk about what a child theme is. A child theme is an area where you can save customizations to the theme. So if you wanted to customize the single page template, you create a child theme, copy the page template into there, update it to your heart's content, and then the next time the theme is updated, it's not overwritten. But we can also use that feature with templates that come with plugins. So we can copy our WooCommerce templates over. There are templates for other plugins like Gravity Forms or uh, the Event Manager, that kind of thing. What you do is you copy those templates, drop them in the child theme, and then update them, and they're not overwritten next time you update the plugin. So first of all, let's create a child theme. We're using 2023, and we're gonna customize that, and we're going to also drop in our WooCommerce template files, and then update the thank you page. First thing we need to do is create a child theme. There's a plugin that makes it really easy to do. So let's have a look at that plugin now. It's called Child Theme Wizard. So in the tools, we have this new option, Child Theme Wizard. So we'll select the parent theme, 2023, and we're gonna create our child theme called Woo Ace. So this is the Woo Ace child theme. These options are the URL and the author are more to do if you're distributing a commercial child theme than somebody can contact you for support. It doesn't really matter if it's just a your own local child theme that you're creating, but it's good practice to include all of those. So let's create a child theme now. Now if we go back to our appearance and themes, we have our new Woo Ace child theme. Let's activate that. Let's have a look at the template to the, the WP content themes directory. So if we refresh that now, our new WooWace theme appears. And it's got three files in, a new functions file to create custom code screenshot, which is that. You can change that if you want to, not really that important and then styles.css. Styles.css will create, will contain any custom styling you want to add. It also point, includes a link back to the 2023 directory. Now, what we could do is we can then copy our WooCommerce template files into a subdirectory in here, and that'll be called WooCommerce, surprisingly enough. If we have a look at the plugin, WooCommerce, we have this templates directory, you can copy any, all of those uh, files. So for example, we've got the checkout. We have so the cart errors, the form billing field, the checkout, and this is what we're interested in, the thank you page. So let me go back to our WooCommerce directory, WooCommerce, and upload my checkout files. So remember that's Woo, Woo, uh, the new child theme directory, WooCommerce, and then checkout, or it could be cart, single product, you get the idea. So copy the files that you want to customize. I've already customized the thank you, so if I edit that file, so I've changed the thank you message to cheers, your order is on it, on the way. Instead of thank you, your order has been received. I think this is the bold standard one. So now if we go to our shop and check out, we 
refresh that thank you page and then cheers your order is on the way so there's our customization in place next time we update woocommerce that customization is not overwritten now making changes to woocommerce template files is not something i would recommend you do unless you are a developer and understand exactly what the implications are if you do need help doing that why not take out a 15 day free trial over at wuace.com of one of our woocommerce support plans and we'd be happy to help you customize your template files and set up a child theme if we need one